What's going on guys, it's me Shikishu, we are back with another Uma Musume video. In this video we will be going over the new banner for the new character and also the new board card that was released last night. I honestly didn't think there was a new banner yet, so I was getting ready for the, I guess, top road run. And then suddenly it was like, hey, we got a new, <laughs> we got a new character coming out, so before we go over the banner and the support card we're just gonna go over the comments real quick there is about there's like four comments so it's not gonna be too bad first one is from that to fit some people have gotten ue with only f2p cards but the build they usually go with is two speed two guts and one in inherit stamina and power you should try it and see what happens Oh, and I heard that in order to have a high chance of winning the first race, you must have at least 900 speed before debuff. Which means you should upgrade the four aptitudes to level three and be lucky, lucky getting rainbows on speed while training overseas. You ease the only free to play cards. I figured it would be possible because in Grandmasters it was possible for me to get a UF7. So I'm not surprised that it's possible to get a UE. But two speed, two guts, and one inheritance. The only reason why I'm not doing that right now is because of stamina. But I'm assuming maybe stamina and inheritance is just really high, so it's still working out. But I'm pretty sure you would need at least a stamina card in order to reach at least 1200 so what i've been doing is two speed one stamina and i went down to one wise and then one guts card i brought back the haru Kurara guts card and then just of course the sataki mei friend card because i don't have her yet uh but 900 speed no wonder it felt so demanding what I'm trying to say, I guess, about it. Because to get 900 by that part, I guess if I were to remember how many times I've made it that far or got to the point to where I beat that race, would probably probably be no more than five, six times at this point. Because a lot of a lot of the times I don't make it to 900. Sometimes I would be even short. I know for a couple times I was like at 8, 10, 8, 30, and I still didn't win the, win the race, which is crazy. Uh, but I don't normally should upgrade the four aptitudes to level three. I don't know if you mean the buffs and all that, but if you mean the buffs, I don't normally raise them to level three until the second um, overseas travel. So yeah, it's just really hard to consistently get 900 unless I just literally just pick speed instead of anything else. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens as I train more. But next comments from Eugene. It's been a week since Lark Scenario launched, but everyone is still trying to figure out how to maximize the benefits of it. In the long run, you can make UF5 or above as usual rank to be obtained after training. We all probably struggle on that Lark race, especially when you were not able to reach speed to 900. Ooh, so you said it too. On the first overseas, you can also try for the stats training bonus skill. Depends on situations. Stats training bonus skill. Huh? As usual, I trained along with your video and got a UF5 with the setup. Two speed, one guts, two wise, plus main focus for mild distance stadium. It was a bit good RNG, and I was able to get 30 SS matches win before the first overseas and utilize the skill points properly. Ooh, that's a lot. Apparently, I have 47k jewels and 74 free support tickets. So I'm thinking I might go for support gacha up to 400 rolls, including the previous pulls. Since I got El Condor Pasa and daily anniversary free pull, I may prioritize to make it max LB 
Hey, you had 74 support tickets? I'm just here just using it. <laughs> so 47k jewel, that's a good amount. That's a good amount. Although I want to pull Narita top road since it's good for LOH because it's evolved skill turf protagonist really suits on this event. You can still have bonus effect on bad condition, speed, and power plus 40. So the skill is not wasted. Yes, that is true. When I once I realized that, even though it's a bad condition, good track demon will still work either way. So thank you for your comment, Eugen. Two speed, one guts, two wise. But the problem is, is that I'll probably do that for mild descents. But I'm still, I'm still sticking to stamina card because it's a long distance run. And the last two comments is from Nova. Oh God, if I'm not mistaken, the next Uma is gonna be the Paris edition of Gold Chip, who looks very appealing. I guess I can try to get her since I just max LB my my L. Speed card using the free pulls. If Ramano comes out after her, then this means that my 42k jewels are gonna be RIP. I or huh. This is the life of playing Uma Musume where temptation abounds. I'm still not going to look at the guides for the scenario since I want to get higher scores by myself. So far I can see a pattern for the scenario, but RNG is a brutal mistress as usual. I'm getting into gut training, but I'm still kind of wonky on that. Yeah, when I saw this gold chip, I was like, I actually like this gold chip. Should I pull for this? I'm not sure. But I'm not even sure I'm going to do any pulls. Uh, but... What else? I mean, if Ramano is the next banner, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be something, ain't it? 42k jewels, that is a good amount. I think it'd be just fine. Uh, I haven't really looked at guy just translations of certain things just to make sure that I'm picking the right things. And other than that, just tips and advice from the comment section as well. I'm trying to see what you guys do. Try it for myself. And so far, it's been a little bit better. I did manage to get a UF, just, just a UF on top road. Uh, let me sh you guys can see right here and uh, this was pretty much it if i had just gotten a little bit more power literally like maybe two three good friendship trainings and literally just one more friendship training for wise this would have been a really good top road uh regardless of her having this s on mild distance but yeah i did get my first uf but i'm not happy with it because it could have been better I'm not satisfied <laughs> with it because power and wise, or at least wise didn't even make it to UF, but it is what it is. Um, And for the second comment from Nova, also the first Lark race is definitely not easy. I think I had it the easiest with Suzuka, who can basically beat Manju first time without any issue. Her runner skills are pretty OP, not gonna lie. I haven't trained Suzuka yet because I'm focusing on League of Heroes. So I haven't really tried any other characters besides the ones that I've been using. Well, mainly I've us been using Top Road. Uh, but other than that, it's just the characters that I've planned out for League of Heroes, I guess. But with that being said, thank you for the comments, Nova, Eugen, and that's who fit. Now we shall go over the new banner which is the gold chip banner right over here honestly it's a pretty cool card and i haven't really like i guess also like gold chip in my opinion looks better without her like her little ear caps that her original outfit has <laughs> so i kind of like the way this gold chip has been designed and the first time i said that is when they did the swimsuit banner with McQueen she also didn't have her ear caps on so I thought that was pretty nice but going on with the gold ship we have at level one three star 88 speed 101 stamina 93 power 84 guts and 84 wise at level five we have 108 speed, 123 stamina, 114 power, 102 guts, and 10 
three. Why is did I say the guts at the end? Oh. Oh, that's kind of weird. I thought their guts and wise would be the same. That's why I hesitated there, but I guess I'm not crazy. <laughs> I guess I'm not crazy, but onto the aptitudes. Of course, she is a turf runner. Distance, medium distance, and long distance for sure, but you could also raise up her mild distance to an A as long as you do it through inheritance. And. I know I've seen other people in the past use gold ship for fun or even in CMs and all that. Um, like this was a long time ago though. I don't remember. I don't see it nowadays, but I've seen them use gold ship as a leader, which is kind of hilarious. Mainly now I would see her be used as a chaser because obviously that is, it should be her best, uh, strategy. And then her growth rate, 8% on both speed and power, and 14% on stamina. I kind of like this. I might actually want to pull for her. Not going to lie. But I might want to try and go for her Satake Mei first. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to go for any pulls just yet. Because I think we still have a few more days to try and get a pull. At least for me, to get another pull. From the banner itself or the support banner but moving on to the unique skill we have Eva La gold medium long distance during the final corner or beyond if you're about to overtake someone from the second half of the pack your speed will increase it will greatly increase if you had a late start huh it makes me wonder if you can purposely get a late start or it would just a being a chaser naturally was it be quote unquote considered a late start i'm not too sure but that would be interesting next skill we have is the innate skills the next one would be um straight shot if i'm not mistaken chaser during a last spurt straight your acceleration will slightly increase then we have bad track condition become a little better on tracks and slightly heavy heavy or bad condition uh, corner recovery. At a random point on any corner, your stamina will slightly recover. Then going on to her awakening skills, we have... Outstanding Stratagem. For chasers, if you were in the second half of the pack in the final leg, then during the first half of the last spurt, your speed will slightly increase. Then we have Imminent Shadow, which is a pretty good skill. During a last spurt straight, your acceleration will increase. We have Medium... Oops, I suddenly got out. <laughs> Let me go back. Then we have medium distance straight at level four. Slightly increased speed on straights for medium distance. And then, uh, let me see. The last one would be... What I got for tr the translations was Evil Demon, which is practically the gold skill of... Bad track condition, I would say. On tracks and slightly heavy, heavy or bad condition, your speed and power stats are increased by 60. On to her evolution skills, we do have Imminent Shadow over here. Let me just get the name again. Uh, up right here. I forgot how to go to the evolve skills for a quick sec, but we have from Imminent Shadow to Surging Jatem. I probably butchered that. <laughs> probably. But for chasers, during any last bird straight, your acceleration will increase. Then during the last straight, your speed will slightly increase. But does that mean... Who had... Did anyone else have Imminent Shadow? No, it's just her, right? I'm not sure. Oh, um, didn't Tai Shin have it as well? And Mr. CB, let me take a quick look right now. Yeah, it looks like Tai Shin did have it as well. Let me take a look. Huh. 
kind of weird how the name is different though. So I went to Tai Shins, it's already translated. It goes to spurring emotions. <laughs> Let's see if the, the end of the effects are different. Well, yeah, your acceleration during the last spurt will increase. And field of vision will increase. But for gold ship, during any last spurt straight, your acceleration will increase. Then during the last straight, your speed will slightly increase, not your field of vision. Interesting how they made it different as an evolution skill for two different characters, even though it's the same skill previously. That's pretty interesting. And the conditions are, first condition is get at least two acceleration type skills or have at least 800 speed. And then the second condition, get at least two skills for chaser aptitudes or have at least 600 stamina. So then on to the next one. Let me actually see, did, is this the first time we'd seen the evolution of that track condition or the, you know what I'm talking about? I think it is. Huh, interesting. I think I clicked the wrong one. Here we go. On to the evo evolution skill of it. So what did I say? What was his name earlier? Um, so from, I guess, evil demon into a golden ship that likes rough seas. That's actually, if that's really the translation, pretty cool. I doubt it is, but there's a chance it is. Uh, on tracks in he slightly heavy, heavy or bad condition, your speed and power stats are increased by 80, but your race start will be slower. Oh. And that works with her unique, purposely giving her a late start. Interesting. Interesting. For her conditions, condition one, win a G1 race in one of these terrain conditions. Basically, the slightly heavy, heavy, bad conditions. Or get at least two green skills. And then second condition, win the Takorazakinen twice or have at least 800 power. On to her skills with events. I wonder if we can see them. And we have on standby for chasers become slightly harder to tire out during the middle leg. And one chance for medium distance during the first half of the final leg. If you're not in the front, your acceleration will slightly increase. And I'm pretty sure the others that I see here is because it's also with the uh, other gold ships. So we have Hanshin Racetrack. In Hanshin, your stamina stat is increased by 40. Non-core distances become a little better at non-core distances, not multiples of 400 meters. And also gate trouble. Where set starts, lightly increases delay of late starts. Oh, you could also just get that for this specific gold ship. Interesting. Kind of like this. Not going to lie. And then we do have the new Nakayama Festival Wise card over here. So we're going to quickly go over that. Real quick, let me just get over there. Go at level 50, of course. Unique effect gain increased trading 10 when the bond gauge is at least 80. Friendship bonus of 25%. Motivation bonus of 60%. Specialty rate up of 80. Wisdom training recovery up 5. Starting bond up 20. Skill point bonus 1. Initial wisdom up 25. And wisdom bonus of 2. Support hints, or the supports, oh, I guess support hints. <laughs> we have Lone Wolf. Raise your abilities a little if you're the only girl with Lone Wolf's heart. I wonder if people actually pick this randomly. Because I thought about it, but I'm like, what if someone actually does have it? So I never did. Next one is Gambling Spirit. Random chance to increase speed, power, and guts. 15% if you're popular, 30% if you're not. Wow, so it just increases it depending. <laughs> uh, then we have self-assured for mile medium distance if your base speed and power are both at least a thousand they will increase by 20 additional points these are pretty interesting green skills i'm not gonna lie long champ race scores at long champ your stamina set is increased by 40 up the pace 
slightly increases speed when overtaking during the middle leg. And the last leg, at a random point in the first half of the last spurt, your speed will slightly increase. As for skills from events, we have... I believe the top one is Nakayama Racetrack. In Nakayama, your stamina stat is increased by 40. The bottom one is Hanshin Racetrack. In Hanshin, your stamina stat is increased by 40. Stamina stat is increased by 40. Then we have in, uh, Fighting Spirit for medium distance. If you're in the middle of the pack during the middle leg and someone is blocking you from the side, your speed will slightly increase and your stamina will marginally recover. Then we have right turns in the bottom. Become a little better at clockwise tracks. And on the top is clockwise demon. Become better at clockwise tracks, increasing speed and power. And that is pretty much it. Honestly, what I like about this wise card is that it's basically focused on the green skills, which I do like. Like up the pace and last legs are right. And then you can also get a chance to get Clockwise Demon, which is not bad. Pretty good as well. Because I think... I think it was Good Track Demon for... Was it, it was Good Track Demon for the Goddess cards, right? Let me double check. I feel like it was Good Track Demon. But I'm going to double check right now. Just to be sure. Was it? I don't know if I can even check it here. Oh, well. I was going to confirm it, but I don't want to take too long. But not bad for a wise card, actually. Uh, there is also this Kita card. Um, it is a stamina card. But I don't really necessarily go over gold cards or SR cards. For what I can see, it is a runner support, obviously, because it's Kita. There is like two long distance, three long distance skills, one of them being a stamina recovery and then two, two other recovery cards. So it's not bad, but obviously it would be just better to use an SSR card. But other than that, not bad for both support and uh character banner i guess i'll use my two tickets who knows what will happen i'm still kind of on defense if i want to pull but kind of want to i'm not gonna lie this gold chip like going over her skills and all that kind of interested me i'm kind of like i kind of wanna especially with the both are winning tickets especially with the loh coming up i could use her um, instead of Taishin, in that case, if anything. And then I'll just keep using Top Road, of course, and then... What was the other character I was going to use? Top Road... Who, who was I going to use? Top Road, Taishin... I know there's another character. Oh, uh, Satono Diamond. I don't know why I blanked out there, but I could use her. Those three instead. Uh, top road, Satono, Diamond, and Gold Ship. So, uh, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll go until I have 10k. Because I still need to get Sataki Mei, which I don't have. Uh, I, there's, there's still a few days, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Honestly, I just kind of want to pull at the same time. But... I don't know if that's a good reason. <laughs> Although my luck, I don't know how it's going to be since then. I'm not going to bother uh, going over that unless I'm curious if I got it. I don't like the fact that I'm getting long shots though. All right, let's time we'll, we'll just click through it. Winning ticket. Danino Gimlet? Nope, it's, <laughs> it's Steampunk Taishin. I already have her. So this is just basically 60 free shards for me. Dang, I don't know how I feel about this. 
I don't know why I said Tenino Gimlet. It just, I just saw short hair. I didn't really give it a second thought. I don't know if I should continue pulling. Uh, how much do I have left? 1400? That was from Longshot Star, too. Ooh. Oh. Eclipse first, the rest nowhere. Okay. I like this. Come on, you gonna give me gold ship? I was like, that didn't look like gold ship. The hair was too long in the front. So Christmas Daiwa Scarlet. <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't guaranteed to be gold ship because I didn't get the red door or yoyoi at the same time. I was just guaranteed a pull. Now I'm even more afraid to continue pulling. But it is a new character. <laughs> Wasn't this Daiwa Scarlet also good for long distance? Kind of curious. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Yeah, she has long distance skills. <laughs> Am I changing my lineup here to just all new characters? That depends if I could. Um, bring her up to at least level five, at least I would say, because my Satono Diamond is level five. But oh, that is a good question. Do I even have the mats? Yeah, how, how much do I have left? Okay, sure, we'll go one more. Is this a smart decision? Probably not. But. I did manage to get top road <laughs> off tickets. So I guess it, we'll use it. <laughs> All right, we're just going to go through this. Bakusheno, uh, Fuku, Turbo, Ryan, Ryan. I don't, I don't know if Agnes Tachyon. King Halo, uh, Tannhauser, Ticket, Vodka. Did I do one pull and the support banner for fun? No. Let's do one more pull here and that's it. When I say support banner, I meant for Satake Mei, but I'm going to discipline myself first and see what I get for the remaining free pulls. And then we'll see what happens here. This is the last pull I'm going to do. I'm going to leave 10k... How many pulls do we got here? Three? Um, I'm gonna leave 10k just in case for Satake Mei. That's it. Takeyon, Nature, Fuku. I was like, that didn't look like her either. <laughs> I have Nakayama Festo. I'm getting new characters. Which isn't a bad thing. Like, I did... I do like Nakayama Festa. And I did forget that she was released, like, a while ago. Like, a while, while ago. Because I didn't have her. Like, when was she released? It shouldn't be this far. When did she get released? I'm surprised... <laughs> I was actually hoping Katsuragi A's, but none of them look like Katsuragi A's, so I'll just there like. Here, Nakayama Festa came out on November. Man. It's like, if I'm not gonna get gold ship, at least give me <laughs> Katsuragi A's at this point. So I had to do one more pull. This is how it starts. You, you give yourself a limit, and you're like, should I do one more? No, what? One more. That's it. It's, it's one more. That's it. I already passed the 10k mark. There's no way I'm gonna keep going after that long shot star. That's when you know that I should stop. 
<laughs> Unless they randomly give me one, then that'd be a whole different story. But vodka, vodka Chanel, Herbo, King Halo, Brian. Honestly, if I do end up getting Satakime, I might end up just going back for trying to get Gold Chip. Might. That yeah, is might not work out. Oh, dude. <laughs> Because I said I wanted to come back and get a gold ship. Doesn't mean I necessarily meant like just a random gold ship. Like not the two-star gold ship. But I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I did do a good amount of pulls. Uh we ended up getting Nakayama Festa. Uh Christmas Daiwa Scarlet. And also a dupe of the Taish Steampunk Taishin. I saw that I had something to bring up here. I guess <laughs> I haven't used her at all. Like, should I feel bad? Not really. I really had no reason to want to use her, to be honest. That's why she's still level one. Oh, where is my Steampunk Taishin? Here's Nakayama Festa, right beside her. What do I have? 150. I could literally just buy 50, but. And then where's Daiwa Scarlet? So this Hokotaro might also. I need to. If I want to use it for dirt, I gotta level 5 her. Like, where is Daiwa Scarlet? Right here. Switch it to levels. Level 4. So what am I missing out on? Probably the last one. Yeah. And then if I went to Nakayama Festa, which you can use in long distance. Just need to bring up her thing. I could level five her, which is pretty cool. And then Steampunk Taishin, I can level five as well. Oh, this is interesting. I could level five a good amount of these characters. Does she have the same as Akama Festa? I hope not. No, interesting. Uh, I don't want to go with a level a three star though, but I kind of do want this gold chip. I'm not gonna cap about it. I kind of do want this gold chip. But I will hold off. I will hold off. I think on the last day of the free event pulls or free support card pulls for I hope it stays on that banner. Honestly, I hope it doesn't transfer over to this one. I hope it actually stays on this one. I think it does. Um, I just need to pull Satsaki Mei and I'll be happy. Just one copy. That's it. I do like this El Condor Pasta card, though like it uh i wish i had 74 or 90 support tickets eugen and nova those were so many i did think about saving those in the past but i just kept using it but it is what it is but that's gonna be the end of this video guys if you guys didn't make it this far i do want to say thank you if you guys can hit the like button hit the subscribe button and also leave a comment down below let me know if you guys are pulling for this gold chip i honestly think that this gold chip is not bad I kind of like the skills she has. They're unique, works well as long as you, works really well if you can grab the gold skill of that track condition and also turn it to an evolution or just give her the gate trouble, which is the purple, I guess the purple version of, I guess just a bad version of focus, which is the normal version of concentration. And you pretty much get the delay of light starts. But if you have both of those, you will basically have your delay at the start and your unique will be increased greatly. I think that's pretty cool. And I think that I actually do like this gold chip card or the design of this gold chip it makes me want to pull for her even more, you know? But. And also her growth rates aren't that bad. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are gonna pull for this gold ship. Uh, my luck probably been screwed up. All those random pulls, to be honest. I'm just hoping I do manage to get Tataki Mei off the net last free pulls. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of sad that even though it is random and by chance, I was hoping to get Katsuragi Ace out of those random three 
units, but it is what it is. Although I do have more of a selection to train. I might actually use Devil Scarlet if I don't end up getting Gold Chip. And since there's still time, about two weeks, I think, for the League of Heroes, then I think I do still have time to hold off on it. Because this banner will stay until the 10th as well. I don't know if this a part three. I think there is, so I'm not sure. But so far, we got Top Road and Gold Chip. I don't know if there's going to be another one after that. So, yeah. With that being said, guys, that's pretty much it. So, once again, thank you guys once again. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.